Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to install NetBeans 19 on Windows 11 for Java development. So let's start. So first, I will go to this Chrome, and here I will search for NetBeans. We'll go to this past uh, website. As you can see here, this download button. So we'll click on this download, and under this installer and packages, we have this Apache uh, NetBeans 19xe 64 bit. So we'll click on this. So it will take us to this page, and we will click on this past link and it will start downloading NetBeans as you can see here. Now we need uh, Java as well. So for that I will come here and I will search here Oracle Java. We will go to oracle.com. So we will click on this download Java. Here Java JDK 21 is available but uh, NetBeans 19 is not supporting Java JDK 21. So we will download a lower version. So we will download Java JDK 17. So I will click on the 17 and now you can see here Linux is selected as we are going to install it on Windows. So I will click on this Windows and now we will select this one so i'll click on this link and it will start downloading java jdk 17 now it will take some time to download this java jdk so now jdk is downloaded and make sure that you install jdk before apache it means we will go to the show in folder i'll double click on this jdk to open the installer now it is preparing to install so now the installer is open so i'll click next and it will install java jdk on this path c program files java jdk we want to go to jdk so we can go to this path you can change it from here if you want to install on another drive click next now it is installing the installation is complete so i'll close this we will go to environment variables and set path for java jdk so first we will go to c and to program files and to java and jdk and then i'll copy this path from here this one and now we will search here for environment variables so we will click on this edit the system environment variable here go down to this button environment variables under the system System variables we will go to this path click on this and edit this now we will add a new path here and I will paste the path that we copied I'll click OK now we need another path but we will create a new path here by the name Java home it will be in capitals Java underscore home and now I'll paste the same path here but I will remove this Ben as well as this backslash now click OK and OK and click OK here as well now I'll close this and now we will again go to downloads and now our, our Apache NetBeans is also downloaded so I'll go to this show in folder and now I'll double click on this installer to open click yes here so now it is configuring the installer so it will install base IDE, Java SE, Java EE, HTML5, JavaScript and PHP support you can customize it from here but we do not need so I'll cancel this and we will click next now I'll accept the license agreement and click next and now it is here automatically detected Java JDK 17 if it doesn't so you can browse this and go to the directory where you have installed Java JDK now I'll click OK click next next check for updates I do not need this I will uh, uncheck this and I will install and it will install NetBeans IDE on your computer now it will take some time to install this now the installation is complete so I'll finish this and I will close this close this as well and now you can see Apache it been here so I'll double click on this to open it so now it need been is open I'll uncheck show on startup and I will close this start page or welcome page I'll create a new project so I'll go to his files new project and here you can uh, select between Java with Maven Java with Gradle and Java with and project so we will create Java with and project and I will click next so now here you can give your application name so I'll uh, name this first java project make sure this create main class is checked so i'll click finish and it will create this project on this location you can change it from here so i'll click finish so now you can see that this first java project class is created and this first java project so this is the main class so inside this main method i can write my code so i'll write here system dot out dot print ln and here i'll pass in hello to every one from netbeans java and now we will go to this uh, run button and I'll click on this to run the project so now the project is running and hello to everyone from NetBeans Java is printed here in the console so in this way you can configure Java and NetBeans on Windows 11 so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment Thank you.